Welcome all of you, we will start the topic about, liquid penetrant testing, third topic in the types of NDT. This is a free certified, YouTube course. Subscribe the channel for updates on new topics. We will start with, what is liquid penetrant testing? It is a procedure used to check for deficiencies, such as cracks, by spreading a thin liquid dye, onto the material surface, followed by the application of a developer. Here you can see the steps, used for the process of, liquid penetrant testing. Note, that there is a 10 to 15 minutes dwell time after applying, the dye and also for the developer. Next you will see, different names for liquid penetrant testing. LPE liquid penetrant examination. DPT dye penetrant testing. DPT dye penetration test. DPI dye penetration inspection. When was it discovered and by whom? Discovered by, Magnaflux. During, 1942. If stating the reason to develop liquid penetrant testing. It was first developed to check the cracks in rails. You will see now the, uses. To find different types of cracks in a material. Fatigue cracks, quench cracks, grinding cracks, overload cracks, impact fractures, porosity cracks. Advantages Finding fine flaws Used in different materials, no power supply is needed, no great skills required. Disadvantages Only detects defects open to surface, it is messy, sometimes difficult, method takes time. Now you will see about, some new innovations. The innovative fluorescent penetrants, are being developed. Next you will be seeing a video for a live visualization of liquid penetrant testing. Penetrant testing is used to examine non-magnetizable materials on small, mostly tear-shaped imperfections with an open connection to the surface. For starters, the surface is cleaned thoroughly. The examiner waits for the cleaner to dry. Then a high-quality penetrating product is applied. A contrast-rich product that penetrates into the smallest pores. The experienced examiner carefully removes the excess penetrating product and checks if the surface is perfectly clean. penetrating product only remains in the imperfections invisible to the naked eye. A developer is applied with the third aerosol can. This forms a white chalk layer on the surface, making the hidden penetrating product visible. Here we see how the developer basically draws the penetrating product in sight. We call this, the bleeding of the penetrating product. This shows us where there are any imperfections. In this case, no imperfections were found. The investigated part is unaffected. What new methods and for which type of industries do you think it can be developed? Write in the comments below. Steps to complete course. Watch complete series. Answer few questions on Telegram. Message in group in the format given below. Next video in this series will be about types of eddy current testing. Next video link will be in the description below. Subscribe the channel for updates on new video of the series. Thank you from Team Hipstema.